Hey guys, my name is Dr. Doodle. Welcome to episode 2 of How to Make a Map in Crunker. In this episode, we're going to be covering layout and whiteboxing. Having a good, fun, playable layout for your map is really important. And especially if you're going to have, you know, features using triggers in your map that are going to be a key part, it's really important to get that planned out as soon as you can. Now, the key things to take into consideration when, you know, planning out your layout is the general shape. For a Crunker map, it's always good to sort of have something a bit like a figure eight. You want to have a central lane and two side lanes. You can always expand upon this, but that is sort of the general guideline to go by. The reason for this is because it opens up more flanking routes and also centralizes where a lot of the fighting happens, which is good because it keeps players together, especially if it is a larger map. In this map, as you can see, we've got an outer lane here, which is in the white boxing phase, and we've got our central lane here, which is where we're going to have an actual train running through. And we've got more flank routes going underneath. Now, we are yet to do the left lane, but we'll do that right now in a time lapse. Okay guys, that was the time lapse. I hope it wasn't too vomit inducing, but anywho, we've finished this lane here for the time being, possibly going to connect it up in the central area to somewhere over here in the future, but for now this should be pretty good. Anyways, let's load into a tester and see how it feels. So here we are on the train tracks in the center of the map. This is where eventually we're going to have a train coming down the middle, actually moving. So we'll have a video on that coming out in the series, which should be a pretty exciting one. We've got one area here, which I speculated could be you know sort of a hard point area uh you know i did a little bit of detailing here too just to sort of get the feel of that corner now here we've got a huge long sight line uh, you know that might be problematic but uh, if need be i can totally break it up with this central area here you can turn it into more of a building um 
We can possibly put a spawn there. Anyways, here we've got, you know, another little sort of side place we can go down. And then hop up onto here, which I reckon is a fun thing that people can do. You know, a little bit of, you know, jumpy parkour here and there. Um, there's a little window here. Not too useful. You know, you can get a bit of cover. Sort of cool. Um, yeah, so if you come along here, I've done actually some sort of cool stuff. So over here, we're looking out onto the train tracks uh, that go across there. And we can do a jump. Like that onto the train tracks which is a fun thing i don't know if we can make it back we can uh and this area this is particularly cool i don't know how well this is going to work out but i've put one of the new cylinders in the ground so it actually moves you around but it means if you want to go in this direction it's a bit tricky so it gets pushed as you back so that might be an interesting gameplay feature you can still just hop around but yeah that's just a cool little thing so you might be you know coming along running away hopping on this spinning around and i could even make it go faster you know if i want to change how it goes. Anywho, I don't know if you guys have had a look at the rest of the white boxing that I've done, but around here we've got the pipeline which runs, you know, underneath where the train goes, and that means you can get around here even when the train is coming through. So that's pretty cool, you can, you know, run around here. This also leads into this area here, which has some piping and stuff. Uh, you can't get up from here, but you can jump down here. So this area here, and it's not got a floor or a roof, and that's because that area, and we'll get to it in a second, is going to be a sort of um, factory slash warehouse area. Sort of like what you can see in this image here. I mainly got the inspiration for that from the guy I'm working with, Mr. Needle. He's the, the guy who's going to be doing the mod, or the map, and all the custom models. That should, he's a pretty talented guy, pretty amazing. And this area here is going to be looking out into a pretty vast open you know, factory area. And it should be pretty awesome. And if you're you know, running away from someone, this little place down here, I don't know if I can make the jump, but this is going to be a fun little escape route you can take. Anyways, guys, that does do it for this episode. You know, this episode was just covering white boxing and sort of level design. And as you can see, of course, we've, you know, been doing our white boxing. It's all very white. We've got our left lane, our center lane, which is where the train's going to be running, which is where, you know, lots of the fighting should hopefully happen. And we've got our other right lane. So here we go. We've got our right lane here. It runs through here. This one's not as detailed as the others, but this is a fast way to get from each side of the map to the other, you know? But yeah, that does it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave suggestions in the comments for what you would like to see in this map, because I will be looking at them, you know, Mr. Needle will be looking at them. You know, this map, as much as it is something that I'm working on with Mr. Needle, it's also, you know, something that you guys can help, you know, come up with ideas. You know, so if you guys have any ideas you'd like to see in the map, comment them, and uh, I'll try to make them happen. So uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.